mbangilio yangu ni kwamba kila constituency napea karibu siku kumi ili niweze kusindua project zote zile ambazo tumefanya 2022-2023 na ninajua wakaaji wa Narok mumeona tukitembea ukiona hao wananchi wanakuja kutembea na mimi ni kwamba wanajaribu kuangalia ile kazi ambayo tumeambia hao tutawafanyia kama tumewafanyia na mimi nashukuru sana kwa sababu wakati nilikuwa emuru wa digir watu walikuwa tu namna hii leo nimekuja nilikuwa jana nimeenda mpaka huko pande ya langa tenderi kwa narok south watu wakatufuata wakitaka kujua kweli hii pesa tunasemanga 100 million imefika kwa wananchi ama haijafika na mimi nashukuru kwa sababu nikiangalia mimi mwenyewe i am satisfied that the money that we have budgeted for our wards the 30 wards right now we are commissioning most of those projects and we are looking forward to open more of these projects we know there was a delay of money and everybody knows in kenya that county government we have not been receiving money you know monthly sometimes it takes three months sometimes it takes four months but i thank god because because of the efforts that we have put as as the county of narok we can see that most of the projects are now nearing completion i want to watch those those words particularly when the mcs are here those ones that have not been up, that have not been finished I want to guarantee you that I'm going to finish those projects. We are not going to start new projects until we finish the one that we have started. I know places like uh, Melelo, we still have some challenges because of a, a contractor that we have given that job. We still have a small challenges in Transmara, particularly in a place called Keyan. But we are working very hard with MC of that area to make sure that those projects are complete. The same thing applies to small section of uh, Sagamian and some section of uh, Sogo. I'm happy to report that in uh, Narok South, Ololonga is done. We are nearing, we have finished also Majimoto Narosra. And even later, we just have a few projects of the maternity wings and a few dispensaries to finalize the job so that we can open those projects. Now, Leo, 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 to Mekuja Hapa Siana. Hapa naro kuwest, nafikiri mnyinyi mumeona daraja kubwa ambayo tumetumia saidi ya elifu eh, salasini, milioni salasini na tano kutengeneza yubri. Hapa, ololo yero eh, primary school, tumeeka milioni tano ya kudrili yo maji ili community hapa mbuai na hapa eneo hii wanaisatumia hii maji. Pia, nafikiri mumeona hiyo barabara tumetoka kutoka Talek mpaka inaenda mpaka inaenda governors huko kwa Musiarage na hiyo pia imekamilika na leo ni siku muhimu kwa kuwa hapa kwa daraja ya Simba kwa siku ya kufungua na hii, hii daraja hii mtu ametusumbua sana wakati ya mfua wakati wa mfuriko hatukua na mali ya kupita lakini tunashukuru Patrick Olentutu ambayo amekuja kuona wananchi wa Talek na wasikinandi hapa Mara ya kwamba ameona heri ni mtengeneze mahali ya ambayo watapita ambayo ni barabara na kwa sababu hii mtu ya Talek ametusumbua sana wakati mfuriko ilikuwa mingi ambako usunguke uende upite hiyo daraja ya Talek ya Gate usungukie uende Sikinani ndio uende Naro. Wakati mfuriko ile ambayo ilikuwa uh, watu walikuwa naomba madaraja pale kwa kwa makambi lazisi wapite ndio waweze kutembea. Lakini wakati ilikuwa mfuriko mingi sana maji watu hakuwa natembea. Kwa sababu walikuwa na ocha gari huko kwa barabara kwa main, watu wanatembea mguu wanapitia hiyo madaraja ndio waenda mpaka tale. Okay, my name is uh, Emilio Rakoi Muli. Mimi ni mkaaji wa hapa Narok West uh, pande ya Aitong lakini leo tumekuja hapa kwa sababu ya gavana kuzindua mradi huu. Kiangalia hiyo mradi imechukua uh, 
uh, imechukua pesa mingi ya serikali kuundwa hii daraja kwa mara ya kwanza iliundwa maji ikakuwa mingi kazidi na ikapata ku, kuharibu lakini leo hii gavana ameikuja pia akairekebisha na kwa sasa sisi kama wakaaji tunafurahi hii, hii, hii bridge ya simba ime, ime, imefanya wakazi wa pande ya talek kupata ku access main eh, tamak road pale sekanani 